Hello everyone, today in this video we'll fight against the utmost character of our world around us and this time we will discuss, uh, using few examples, how welfare state is collapsing. One should start from the, from the beginning that every welfare state, doesn't matter how we call it, Peronism, European welfare state or whatever, uh, is doomed from the very beginning. Why is it doomed from the very beginning? The answer is very simple. Because to keep wealth and keep things going, like infrastructure, like society, like factories, like industry, like high-tech and production, one needs to work. And we know that it's human nature and it's also nature of the things, one should say, that work is not a pleasure, work is a duty, work is a necessity, work is must. So, not so many people in the world were, are and will be lucky to have a good correlation between their work and their hobby. But even after some time, even if your work is your hobby, with time more and more routine uh, comes into play and less and less hobby stays in place. And work is becoming simply a duty work, nothing else. But with in the case when you are lucky enough to start with your work which at the same time is your hobby and not only a work you are the lucky one because for many years uh, all difficulties and all inconveniences connected with the fact that one needs to work to sustain a living and to satisfy his or her own needs all of these problems and inconveniences will be mitigated so these people are lucky ones but unfortunately, the vast majority of people around the world, they have to work to get things they need to survive. But they have to do the jobs, which are far, far away from their hobbies. That's why they need to force themselves to work. So, conclusion is simple. If they can skip the work and somehow get the things really necessary, for them to survive, uh, for instance, in the form of social welfare, they will do it and they will not work. I still remember there is a nice quotation, one can find it on the net. And this quotation was actually expressed by Mr. Milton Friedman, one of the fathers of the Chilean economic miracle, uh, Chicago Boys, the leader of Chicago Boys, who during the rule of Mr. Augusto Pinochet reformed successfully Chile after the disaster of the dictatorship of Mr. Allende. Uh, Mr. Friedman in, two, in the year 2000 in the conference in Berlin said to, the, to his German colleagues, uh, you, you reached a state, uh, you Germans, in which the lowest possible salary to get for the lowest paid jobs are smaller or equal uh, to the social benefits one can collect with the uh, state subsidy system. So are you then surprised in such situation that you have unemployment? Of course, it's not surprising. If people who are doing low paid jobs, very boring, tedious jobs, can quit uh, these jobs and get um, the money and uh, things they need to survive, somewhere else, like from the uh, social welfare institutions, of course they do it. Because work is not a pleasure for them. It's only the uh, painful must in life. That's why the unemployment in such places like Germany was high and it's still relatively high. But now, welfare state in Germany and also in Argentina, what I mentioned in one of my last uh, vi uh, videos, Peronism is also collapsing, welfare state of Peronism, and reality is knocking to the door of these uh, two nations. Also, any other nation which applied welfare state to their own societies. Actually, welfare state is a crime against the community to which it was applied because it makes it lazy, it makes it not resourceful, and it also slowly enslaves them. Because if you t if state take, takes care of somebody, if someone takes care of somebody in general, the one who is taken care of needs, needs to experience limitations in the personal freedoms. So welfare state, I recorded such video uh, long ago, 
it's a negation of the freedom it's actually contradiction of the freedom because if someone takes care of you uh, you cannot decide for yourself your freedom will be and needs to be limited because someone takes care of you state or another person whoever it is and that's why now welfare state in many places around the world is collapsing and the administration is imposing even more and more restrictions on the on the beneficiaries of the system that it's now collapsing and these nations will now pay with everything even with their residual freedoms for the years of pseudo prosperity on someone else cost well first aid here i have to at the end quote the french thinker alexis de tocqueville is nothing else than bribing people with their own money it always finishes bad all the best have a nice day bye